Arabian Magic is a side-scrolling hack-and-slash game developed and released by Taito for arcades in 1992. Arabian Magic has seven different stages, each one with powerful guardians awaiting the player at the end of each level. You get to choose from four different playable characters, Prince Received, Princess Lisa, Sinbad, or Afshal. The game is set in the mythical world of the Arabian Nights. Some time ago, the Evil One plagued a peaceful kingdom in order to save a king who by sorcery has been changed into a monkey. A group of heroes must find the jewel of seven colors and release the evil hex from the king. However, formidable monsters are waiting along their path. This game is a tribute to me to the Sinbad movies of Ray Harryhausen. You can see it in the boss designs of this game. Four player characters have the ability to summon a genie which can attack your enemies with powerful blows. The boss battles, in my opinion, are one of the best parts of this game. If you beat a genie at the end of the level, you can capture them in a magic lamp and you can use them against your enemies down the road. There are many traps which will stand in your way to reach the end of this game. Each level is littered with vases and wooden chests, which when broken, reveal treasure items and power-ups. The game has a slight RPG element in that stats such as life can be raised. The boss of this level reminds me of The Golden Voyage of Sinbad, the 1974 movie with the great Ray Harryhausen monsters. Check this out and see how similar it is. level has you fighting the great rock in an aerial battle on board a magic flying carpet. This game is filled with imagination and great creatures for you to battle. I switched to Princess Lisa. She has excellent reach with her magical scarf. She also has a special spinning move performed by tapping forward twice on the joystick. She is a fast character, but suffers defensively. Sinbad is a powerful character with a very useful flaming sword attack done by holding the attack button, then releasing. The imagination in this game is really great too, because at one point, you're shrunk into a really small size as you fight being miniaturized. You also fight in another part against wizards that have doppelgangers that match the player characters of the game. The coolest part is you can save all these boss battles up and use them at the end to unleash fury on the final enemy. In this part, you do a battle on board a burning pirate ship. Then you just take on these two kung fu guys. After this, 
you're treated to another great boss battle. The game is just full of surprises. After this battle, you continue on board the pirate ship. Rain comes and lets the fire go down. Then at the end of the level, you face a sea monster. Unleash the Kraken! The next level features a fantastic skeleton battle. The skeleton battles just wave after wave of different skeletons. It ends with like a, a skeleton that's gold. Like a golden skeleton is your last uh, battle on this sequence. Very, very cool. Very much like the great Sinbad movies I remember growing up. This game does not disappoint. It's a fantastic end battle. I would highly recommend this game. Give it a shot. Time to unleash all my genies. Let's do this.